And then after a while, I learned to transfer. That means I could by myself, not bending my leg, get out of the bed, get into a wheelchair. And this meant I got to leave my room. And I met people in the rehab facilities. Just an aside, not a funny, but an aside. Anytime you think you have it tough, there's a lot of other people who have it tougher. But I met people and I liked them. And one day they you make a friend. And she said to me, Jeannie, I was here when they brought you in. You were just out of it. I said, I've been out of it now a long time on figuring this stuff out. She said, you don't understand. This is not a little bitty rehab facility. There's a whole other huge section to this over there where people live normal lives. And they don't have people bring their food that was selected for them in the morning. They have a buffet line and a chef. And there's a lake. You can wheel yourself around in your wheelchair. And they even have a library and a gift shop. You think they got a brown poncho in that gift <laughs> shop? She said, we go through that door, go down the hall, there's an elevator, and you go to that whole other big new section. So when my husband came that day. He came every day. I was waiting in my wheelchair, waiting on him. And I said, honey, do you want to go with me to the other side? <laughs> I'll never forget. He squatted down next to the wheelchair and said, I love you, Jeannie. I love you. And I believe in for, for better or for worse, but at death we part. <laughs> So I explained the situation and we decided we'd check it out and we went over there. Are there any nurses here? Raise your hand if you're a nurse. There's one, two, three. Nobody told me you have to check out. <laughs> the head nurse of the floor owns that floor, by golly. She has a clipboard. <laughs> and when you leave, you have to write your name and tell her where you're going and when you're going to be back. They put out a silver alert on me. <laughs> and I don't mean at this facility. No, not at this facility. They put it out countywide. <laughs> Apparently there are people when they're going through rehab that become so discombobulated and angry they decide they can't take it. And they call their friends. And their friends come to this North Carolina town and take them out of rehab and they break for Virginia. <laughs> So I didn't know this. We were gone an hour and a half. We had a delightful time. And when we came back through that door, standing there were nurses waiting on us. They said, here she is. She's back. Call off the silver alert. Jeannie is back. Jeannie, where have you been? We like you. You're real funny. You've been very nice. You don't ring the bell much. <laughs> but you've ticked us off. We've put out this silver alert on you. You don't have any day. I said, let me tell you something. You've ticked me off. Silver alert. You could have at least said dirty blonde. I think that would have worked. <laughs>